Hello, this is Palo Willy once again from Wild Design Studio. Today we want to look at how we can trace a bitmap object to form a solid object. So let's get started. Let we go to the front viewport and we will import the bitmap image. So we can import it or probably you can import it or you can insect it let's do the i have it on my desktop i'm going to drag it and you can use a jpeg file rhinoceros support jpeg file or you can use a png file all works perfectly so let's move i'm dragging it to the front view port you have to select whether it's going to be a wallpaper, a material, an environment, or texture palette. But we are going to use a picture. You click OK, and it gives you this handle just to drag. And that is all. So like I said earlier, you can use a JPEG or a PNG file. Now I'm going to center this image at the center of these or that the middle portion should be on the green line which is the z axis or the z axis some people will say okay so then let's begin with the tracing so i'm going to use interpolate scale point to trace this bitmap and I'm zooming in properly to get every detail of it, of the bottle. So you can use that to zoom in and out using the scroll wheel on your mouse button. So let's begin. I'm going to, and as you can see, it is actually in a constrained movement. And if you want to disable that, make sure your grid snap and your auto or orthogonal movement is off. So it gives you that freedom. To, to curve it well. So I'm going to start today the drawing. So in Rhinoceros, you can still make curves to flow or you can draw. And I'll make sure that I get every detail of this bottle here. You can use any bottle of your choice that is cylindrical if you want to do a cylindrical object then please you can use this method to trace it it only goes well with if you want to revolve revolve or use the revolve command because that is what you are going to use to revolve this bottle You can use the curve. You can use just ordinary curve if you don't want to use the interpolate point. You can use the control curve point to draw this or to make this outline. And as you can see, the bottom here. The bottom side of there is an indentation of the bottom side of this bottle and you can, as you can see through the transparency of it you can see that it has some protruding bottom that is that is that moves inside so when you get to this side you can control it by drawing up upwards to touch the z line or the middle line and so that is what i've just done now we have our curve of the bottle now so what you can do is you can click or you click this image and then hide it this is this button here says you hide the object if you want to hide objects you can use this button here let me select that button which says hide objects to hide this jpeg or this image for us Okay, 
Now this is the curve. If you want to do any modification to this curve, you can still bring in by right clicking the mouse on this button. It brings out the image. Then you can do any other changes that you want by holding the control point and then shifting them to do your other or uh, your corrections that you want to do. It allows you to manipulate the bottle as you want. I'm trying to create this bottle with this protruding base. Okay. I am okay with this uh, with the way it is now. So what I'll do is I'll press enter or click on the pick tool and then I hide this object. Now, we want to make this bottle a very thick one. So what we do is to we are going to use a command called offset curve. So we go to curve menu, we say offsets and then offset curve. Now you click on the objects to offset and it's asking that the distance I'm using a distance of 0 0.2 0 0.2 millimeters here. So what's uh, the distance those who followed my other tutorials we did some offsets and so if you have not watched that video yet you can log you can go to youtube join my channel and subscribe you will see all the videos there so the distance here is 0 0.2 so you click if you're okay with it you click if not you type in the distance that you want here and it will take effect so i'm okay with 0 0.2 i click and i have two of these lines have two of these lines the reason why we have two of these lines is that we want the bottle to have that thickness so the thickness of the bottle is going to be 2 0.2 the thickness of the bottle so this is the profile curve to do our revolve of the bottle so what we do next is we have to make sure that we close the edge here of this bottle we close it and so in closing it we will go to curve and then we go to blend curve blend curve we are going to use arc blend so and the command area will ask you to select the first curve near the end of the first curve you click on it it's, it asks again the command area says select second the second curve click and automatically it dumps um or it closes the curve but it's not joined you press enter either using your uh, pressing the enter on your keyboard or you use the right mouse click and so you can see that these lines are separated so let's join them we go to this button here from the toolbar join so we are joining this this one and that one and there's the base here we cannot join it so what we are going to do is to press enter because there is no other uh, curve here to join this now we are okay this curve have now become one curve so from the command you can see three curve join into one open curve because it's open that is why it says open curve because this place is not what joined it's not closed curve it's an open curve okay now we go to the surface menu now we have we go to revolve we look for revolve command the command area says select curve to revolve this is the curve this is the curve to revolve and there's a press enter when done you press enter then it asks you in this in revolving if you want to get a very straight or very unique uh revolve you have to always make sure that your auto and snap and then you turn the on off on the old snap let it be on so that you can get the end part of this of the curve you're actually trying to work to revolve so the start as is this side and then you drag in or up and click the angle to start is zero degrees and so we want a full circle of it you only click on enter enter and you have a full circle now let's look at our bottle so now you can see that we have a full revolving curve 
that has turned into uh, a solid object. Now, if I want to bring the the hidden bitmap, now we can see that if I should hide this bottle now, this is the profile curve that is used to create this bottle. And so, as you can see, the bottle is okay now. So you can delete by pressing the delete key on your, your keyboard to delete the bitmap, very simple. And uh, you can change the views, make it ghosted, and or rendered. So thanks for watching. I'll see you again next week for another tutorials on Rhinoceros Basics. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel at Wild Design Studio. Thank you for watching. See you again next week. Bye-bye.